Hello all of you wonderful people and welcome back to the Slack and Armchair Supporter channel. I'm here today for a season preview for Liverpool. The season kicks off in two days. It's been so long. What has it been? 10, 12 weeks without football. I know we had the Euros and then we had the Olympics, but it's just not the same. But in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through how I think we're going to perform over the course of the season. So I'm going to give you my predictions, how we're going to perform. I'll give you top six predictions, bottom three predictions, where I think we'll get to in the likes of the Champions League, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup as well. And as always, if you agree with me, disagree with me, have any thoughts, any comments, leave them under the video. And yeah, let's get into the video. Right, so first up, I do want to talk about sign-ins. We haven't really made any sign-ins. There's a lot going out as well. Um, as of today, the rumours are that Bobby Clark is being sold to Leipzig. There's been a whole load of nothing. There's a whole load of outgoings, not a lot of in incomings. Felt that we really needed to strengthen in this window. We haven't. So I wanted to start with that because I think that is what will make or break our season. There's been lots of, like I said, lots of outgoings. And well, it looks like there might be more. The futures of the likes of Seth Van den Berg, Joe Gomez, Luis Diaz, they're all still up in the air and we've already let people go. Um, the likes of Lewis Kumas as well going out on loan. There's a lot of people going out, whether it be on loan or permanent sales. Carvalho as well is another one who's been sold to Brentford. So I felt we needed to strengthen in this window. I don't think we've done that. And a lot of a lot of the chatter is, oh, you know, we had the youngsters who came in and done a job for us last season. Yeah, they did. But now they're going out on loan or being sold. So... I wasn't too panicked about it. I do want to see how slot gets on, but we do need silence. We really do need silence, and I am starting to get a little bit worried. But with all that said, what we've seen in pre-season does look pretty good. The new system, we seem entertaining again. Um, the, the turnover in possession, we're so quick from going from defense into attack, counter-attacking goals we've scored against Arsenal and United. Really enjoy watching Salah sprinting away and scoring that goal. I think it was against Arsenal, that one. So I'm really happy to see that. Uh, what we've seen so far indicates that he will get the best out of them. So now let's get into my predictions for the season. So let's start with the English Football League Cup, or more commonly known as the Carabao Cup. It's the lesser of the trophies that we're, we've got up for grabs this season. Um, obviously, we won it last season great to win it it is the mickey mouse trophy it's only the mickey mouse trophy when you don't win it of course this season i don't think we're going to do as well as last season i do not think we'll go on and win it i do think there is silverware coming this season hopefully this season i just the carabao cup i just don't think it's going to be it i don't think slot is going to pay as much attention to it sort of like how Klopp did these first few seasons so for that i think we will get knocked out in the quarterfinals is my prediction again let me know what you guys think in the comments of course so into the Champions League, Liverpool back in the Champions League after what one season out. Um, it was great to get back into it. We did miss it, but back in Europe's elite competition, there is the new format. So there is going to be two extra group games. I don't know where they're going to fit them, but they're going to fit them in somewhere. Yeah, I think Liverpool will do all right. I don't. I don't think we're going to win this. I think Real Madrid are going to win it. And I hate to say it, but I think they will. The players they have, they just sort of have the monopoly on the Champions League. So. I just don't see anybody else winning that. For for Liverpool, I think what we'll do is I think we'll get to the quarterfinals and I'd be happy with the quarterfinals. Um, if we got further, of course, that'd be a bonus. You go on and win it, of course. I would be absolutely delighted. I just think with Slot's first season, the extra games, no signings, I think quarterfinals will be a very good finish for Liverpool. Next up is the FA Cup and for this, I think this will be a trophy that we will try hard for and hopefully go on to win. I do. My prediction is that we will finish first in this competition. We will win it. We'll take home the trophy. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the one slot tries to like put mo most effort into. Like if he was to balance them out, I think the FA Cup would be more what he tries to go for. Again, I'm not saying that he should pick one trophy over the other. You should be going to win all games. And of course, I'd love to see Liverpool win all of the games. But I think the FA Cup will be something we really focus on this season just to get a bit, another bit of silverware and, you know, start Arnie Slot's first campaign off with um, a bit of silverware would be fantastic. So now let's get on to the Premier League. 
and I'm going to start with my predictions for the relegation places 18th, 19th and 20th. So in 20th place, I've put Ipswich. I just see them being another Norwich. Um, you know, they are rivals Norwich and Ipswich, but I just see them going straight back down again. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be too much of an ask for Ipswich to stay up and with a lot of teams improving, you know, towards the top of the table, you know, the likes of Villa, Bournemouth, even Palace, all looking really good. I don't think that there's going to be so much of a a scrap at the bottom. Um, you know, Everton might be in and around there, depending on how that goes. But I just I just see Ipswich go straight back down again. So next, in 19th, I've gone with Leicester. And that might seem a bit harsh, but I've put a bit of thought into this because apparently there's already talks of them getting a points deduction this season because of the, F, the financial fair play or the... SPR or whatever rules it is that they broke in relation to like a couple of seasons ago or something. So apparently there's going to be a hearing for this over the course of this season and they're already looking at a points deduction. So Leicester, looking at a points deduction, I think they will also be looking at going straight down unless they put on an absolute belter of a performance and, you know, like they did back in, what, 2016 when they won the league? Unless they go in and put in them sort of performances... I can see it being a very, very difficult ask for them to try and stay up. And next up in 18th position, the other team, the final team to get relegated, I've gone with Nottingham Forest. They weren't very impressive last season. I felt they were sort of lucky. I mean, at the end of it, they did survive relegation by about six points, I think it was. But they their performances were poor. And I just, I just think Southampton will pip them to it uh, and remain in the Premier League. Um, so that's who I've gone for. So the three relegation places are Ipswich, Leicester and Nottingham Forest. So next up, I am going to go with my top six prediction. Um, so in sixth place, I've gone with Spurs. Um, I just don't see them finishing higher. Weren't very... they Well, they were impressive for, what, two months at the start of last season and then just fell off the wagon completely i could just see that happen again it's very spursy isn't it you know it is a joke but there's no other way to describe spurs than being spursy so i think sixth place i think they might have a bit of competition from chelsea the only thing is the new manager and everything at chelsea they just don't seem to know what they're doing at chelsea they they seem to get back in to a rhythm with pochettino towards the end of the season and started putting some performances together and getting some victories and then go and sack the and I just don't understand Chelsea. I don't understand what they're doing. Chelsea could finish sixth, but I think it'll go to Spurs. Then in fifth place, I've gone with Aston Villa. I think the fact that they're in Champions League football this season, the added games, I think that'll just put a bit too much pressure on them to get into the top four again. Um, but other than that, they, they were fantastic last season, Villa, under Unai Emery. So if they did get higher than that, I wouldn't be surprised. But... I just think there's other teams who have strengthened who will beat them to the top four. And one of them is Manchester United. I've got them in fourth place. Yes, Manchester United, they're always going to be there or thereabouts. They can't have another eighth place finish this season. Um, they've spent big this window, really reinforced the defence, which was a big problem for them last season. Um, I think they faced the most shots ever recorded in a in the space of a season or maybe the second most shots compared i can't remember the other team they really needed shoring up defensively and they seem to have done decent um business of course lenny yoro i don't think he's going to be the savior they hope because he is an 18 year old i think he'll need a couple of seasons before he gets there but delit and now masrawi from bayern munich so they're going to go in and pretty much start. So even if they get inju injuries to their, their main defenders, the likes of Martinez, who was injured last season for a lot of the season. So I think now they've sort of bought the right players in there. So I think fourth place is fair. It could be higher. It really could be higher. I wouldn't be surprised if it was higher, but fourth place is where I put them because I don't want to see them finish above Liverpool. Speaking of us in third place, I just don't see... I don't see us, like I've said, I've mentioned earlier in the video, as regards to the signings, um, there just hasn't been any signings and we seem to be getting rid of the strength and depth that we had. You know, we didn't have much strength and depth, but we sort of lent on the youngsters. A lot of them are now out on loan, being sold. I just don't see it being a better finish than last season. 
Um, I think if anything, we're a weaker squad than last season. We really did need signings. The only thing that can actually save the season is slot now and his tactics and getting the best out of the players that are there. We did see glimpses of it under Klopp, um, but now it's slot's turn. So I, I'm hoping the new system and the new tactics does get the best out of the team in general. Um, I hope we're str stronger defensively. Yeah, I hope the lack of signings isn't what hinders our season completely. But we'll see come May. Next up in second place, I've got City. Um, just because I don't want to see them win another Premier League. But also the fact that I think their business this summer hasn't been the same as usual. You know, they normally spend 50 million on a defender, 50 million on this place, on this position, and then maybe somebody else. I don't think... I haven't really paid much attention to their dealings, but I don't. I know they've bought some striker, I think. Other than that, I, it's just... It seems very sort of quiet for City. Maybe that'll all play a, an effect on their season, which is why I've put them in second place, which pains me to say I've got Arsenal in first. I don't like Arsenal either, really. Um, again... I haven't really paid much attention to their business, but I'm assuming they'll do some good business like they have done with the likes of Declan Rice and Kai Havertz. So I just see them, you know, they they are going in the right direction. Losing out to City, we know what it's like. I mean, they lost out to City last season by, what, three points. We know what it's like, and, well, Arsenal do now it's difficult to even get that close so they are going in the right direction i just i think they'll just pick them this season maybe not because they'll be better but because city will be worse um is what i'm thinking so that is my top six predictions spurs in sixth villa in fifth united in fourth liverpool third manchester city in second and arsenal to win the premier league again guys get in the comments let me know what you think if you've got a top six prediction if you've got relegation predictions let me know. Get them in the comments. I'm happy to have a dialogue with you. And one last thing is, I think our standout performer, our player of the season this season, I think it's going to be Diogo Jota. We've seen it last season, most, what was it, goals per minute or something, per minute played. He's, he's an assassin. He just needs to stay fit. I'm hoping this is the season he stays fit and he bags goals. I, I just hope it'll be this season. I've, I've said it before on the channel, we need players who are going to be fit for 30, 40 games a season, not just 10. And it seems like every season he gets an injury. I'm really hoping this is the season that he just gets it out of the way and just bags goals. You know, he could, he could score 30 goals a season. He really could. He's that dangerous in the box. I really hope this is the season. So that's why I've put him down to be Liverpool's best performer or player of the season come the end of the season. So again, that's something else. Get in the comments. Let me know you think you'll have a standout performance this season. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate everybody who watches my videos and everybody who likes, comments, shares and subscribes. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. And like I said, get in the comments. Give me all your thoughts. I'm happy to start up a dialogue with you. Even if you're not a Liverpool fan, you've got some thoughts or opinions on what I've said in the video. Get in there. I'm happy to have a dialogue with you. And yeah if you would and you enjoy the content please hit the like button hit that subscribe button i'm trying to build a bit of a community here i have set a new goal for subscribers for this season just like i did last season we broke the 100 subscriber goal pretty early so i changed it to 150 we're now close to 200 so i'm gonna set a high goal this time for the end of this season 500 subscribers if we get to that i would love it so if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. And yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you again. And up the fucking reds.